here's the box that the vapor so x iron comes in it says gtx coils top fill adjustable airflow usb type c charging on this side just says x iron vapor so logo there here's the back of the package you see all the, sp the specs everything it does let me get that in for you a little bit better everything it comes with this side just says you know, where it's made and let's, you see here again you got the scratch and scratch and sniff you got the model the this one is the black one there's a batch number open up this sleeve we have this box here pop this open you're going to have your typical stuff here your owner's manual your user manual i should say all your warranty scratch and check stuff you know your laser counterfeiting instructions right now here we got what we're here to see here is the x iron comes with an extra drip tip this one is a round drip tip See, the pre-production model that I originally received had two of the flat ones, not this round one. This is 510 compatible with the O-ring. So you can use some of your uh, standard 510s. You have two extra coils. We have two coils. This one here is the... Let me get that to focus. This is, let's see, let's just pop it open. Let's see if it doesn't say on the package. I believe this is the uh, 0.8. Yeah, this is the 0.8 mesh coil, 12 to 20 watts. And then this one is going to be a lot bigger, as you can see here, a lot larger. This is the point, was it the 0.3 GTX coil? The GTX right there, nice and wide. See that mesh right in there. This one goes up to how many? It's 32 to 45 watt recommended. It's funny you don't see the wicking material on the outside of this one, like you don't like you do on the other one. It is, is it actually turned? That's weird. That's very very odd. I wonder if this, wonder if this coils a dud. That is very strange. And you have your USB Type C charging cable. These cables that they have, they've been putting in these things are awesome. And they're nice and long. Take this one out of the sleeve. You can see it's got good length to it. So you know you can plug it in anywhere. I mean, it's probably 18 inches, I'm going to guess. Probably 18 inches long. Here we got Star of the Show. Vapor XO X Iron is made out of a zinc alloy. I see this one's the black. You have this coating here. It's plastic, but it has like, it has a nice feel to it. The USB charging port there. The pod is empty right now. That's where I mean it's more like a like a sub ohm tank, with the exception of that you know, it doesn't have a standard 510. You see the contacts right in there. See, these are the magnets that are gonna hold it all together. So very, very strong. Not gonna go anywhere. And here you have your airflow adjustment. Just turn this dial and it opens up little bit all the way to pretty much wide open and you keep going yep and it does round around I mean, it does come all the way back around so you can do it either way there turn it on five clicks it says vapresso five watts Hold it. it goes all the way up to 50 watts is not round robin and it's in half watt increments and 
then you have three and you hold these two up and down together variable wattage smart variable wattage which i'll show you here in a minute then you have variable voltage default mode and exit so you just hit there it goes back to there remember right you hold one and you know one two three will lock the device so you can still fire it one two three unlocks it there you go lock again let's just check atomizer let me see it one two it's in variable wise right now we'll take this 0.3 ohm coil all you're going to do is take it like that and you can look and see these two notches i mean there's two yeah, notches right here you want to line it up right with that magnet there. push it in this is a concern Hold on one second here. I'm actually going to take this coil out. I don't like the way I think I don't think it was made right. I think that one's a dud. Fortunately, I have other 0.3 um, coils. I'm going to pop that in. And you're going to see it just like that. You see the airflow there and there. And one other thing with this mod, you can see there you got the airflow on the bottom, 1500, the vent, battery venting, you know, it is a lipo, 1500 milliamps. Uh, these are decent. Let's get all this out of the way. We are going to put in some apple pie. Um, this just tastes like a uh, Mickey D's apple pie. Okay, so what you want to do, what you should do first, is you're going to want to, you're going to want to prep your coil. You're going to prime it. So, put a little bit of e-liquid right in here. And I like to put a little, just drop on each there. Then let's say take it, put it back in, put it in the way it's supposed to go. Just like that. And you have your top fill. Pop that open like that. There, here you go. And just fill it up. And you see all the liquid going in. This holds five and a half mLs of e-liquid in the non-TPD version. TPD version, I believe, is just two mLs. We just fill it up like that. We'll let this sit for a couple minutes since it's a brand new coil. Put it back in smart voltage, smart mode, smart mode on. And see, it already sets 0.29 40 watts. So that's working this time. In the pre production model, I have the smart chip did not work, but in this one, it is. And see, these Axon chips that are in here, they're, they're nice. I like, I like what they do. I mean, if this was a larger device, as far as as far as being more power, but for what it is, like you can, I like to keep the airflow about halfway. I like that restriction. Pretty much, yeah. I'm pretty much more we can uh, say on the down low about it. Well, let's go back on top and we'll give some final thoughts. Alrighty, gang, and there you have it. The Apresso X Iron or Zeron, depending on how you pronounce it. We'll see it's X iron and uh, let's take a vape off of it and do my final thoughts.
As you can tell, vapor production is excellent. It is a 0.29, 40 watts. Uh, flavor is great. I mean, these mesh coils that these GTX coils that vapor has come out with, these coils give you a ton of flavor. Uh, I, I mean, I enjoy them. I use, you know, I've used all different ones that they have. They have six different resistances, I believe it is. Something like that, six, maybe eight. From uh, 0 0.15 ohms that you'd use in like the target PM80 all the way up to a 1.2 uh, loose mouth to lung coil that you can use in this if you wanted to. You have your you know, your high nick, uh, high nick e liquids you can put in there. Uh, it's made very well, solid. Feels you know good, you know feels good in the hand. One thing you have to watch is I th when you thumb fire it is that you don't accidentally cover that airflow. So you kind of like gotta adjust yourself a little bit and do it like that. I prefer this drip tip, the square. Compared to the round one, uh, it's just personal preference. This reminds me a lot of like the uh, of the SXK billet box type of type of drip tips. I mean, probably could put that on there. I didn't even try it, but it might work. I say a little pocket device. You know, you can. You can rough it up a little bit and it'll still live. I mean, I don't suggest it. It's not made to be roughed up, but I mean, a good work mod, you know, you know, portable, stick it in the cup holder, stick it in your pocket, what have you. And, uh, you know, you're not going to lose it because, you know, unless you forget, unless you leave it somewhere, but you're not going to like, you know, a, a woman's not going to lose this in her purse. I mean, some, some purses you might, but you know, normally you're probably not going to. Would I buy it? Yeah. You know, if this was something I was looking for, I would definitely buy it. That's pretty much all I got, everybody. Remember, be good to each other. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.